What up everybody? So today I'm gonna talk a little bit about what do you need to think when you are putting runes on a monster and like yeah pretty much that but keep in mind that this is not a device for end game players this is not advice for high arena players this is advice for you that can't farm giants b10 maybe and you only have a couple good rooms and you don't know how you can like use these good rooms so this is for you noob player <laughs> but it's okay because I'm a noob player as well so let's go I'm start to talk a little bit about Huahi why because she's a good example is example for what I'm gonna talk about she is a healer her heal is based on attack she is an attack based monster and her runes her set of runes is fatal energy pretty much everyone does has who he use fatal energy and is like what you're trying to do is get attack critical hate attack no it's probably attack critical damage attack i'm gonna try to break down why my my Huahi is like this? So this is her runes. If you wanna see, you can pause the re the video, but it's not a good thing. It's pretty much bad runes. I'm gonna talk a little bit about decisions. Like you have slot two, you need attack percent. You have attack percent on fatal and energy. What do you put on your Huahei? Like, let's say that the two runes, both the Fatal and your Energy, are bad runes. You need to put your Energy energy rune right here. Why? I'm gonna explain that to you. Because Energy rune with attack percent pretty much doesn't make any sense, alright? It's not something that you're aiming for if you're getting a set of Energy runes. You're probably gonna aim for HP mainly or defense maybe so if you have a monster that use like attack percent and energy runes you're gonna try to put these two together on a slot like 2 and 6, 2 and 4, oh, oops 2 and 4 and that's it now, why my Huahi has critical hate in slot 4? That's a good question. Because I don't have good substats on the other rooms for critical hate, right? This one, shitty as well. And look at this, uh, at her critical rate. It's shitty, alright? And I'm with this room that gives you... 34% critical hate. Imagine if I take this off. She doesn't gonna crit and, and she's a attack based monster. And she has this skill. Look. Dances to attack the enemies randomly. Becomes instantly reusable if an enemy dies. So she needs to crit on this skill. So the enemy would die and she can use this again and kill another one. And there we go, that's why. And if I put like critical damage right here and I have like 30% critical hate, never gonna crit. Doesn't matter. If you don't have good critical hate, it's not good to have high critical damage because it's never gonna crit. Your critical damage can be as high as you want if you have zero critical hate never gonna crit so this is something that i see a lot of people strong and to understand and i'm trying to break down for you all right advice number two i'm gonna talk a little bit about filling slots that you can't complete like you have the set of Ryland's runes, but you don't have this violent rune to put right here, alright? You just don't have and you don't have any other blade runes to put here and whatever, you can't complete. 
So you're gonna use a 4 star room just to complete the set. Which 4 star room should you use? First of all, you're gonna look to the substats. You're gonna see if you can get as like as good substats as much as you can because here I have 10% critical rate. It's good. Alright? It's good. The rune in the rune by herself is pretty shitty, but I, this is the best that I could do, right? And you don't gonna level this rune up most than plus nine. And you only gonna do this plus nine if you are certain that you're gonna use this rune for like a long ass time. If you're not certain of that, you're gonna put the four star rune in like plus six. I think I have here. Look at this. This is plus six. And this is a shitty. Why? Why is plus six? Because it's a shitty rune you can think of. Alright? Landing on HP. I don't need HP on Tyro. And it's flat. It's worse than normal like HP percent. So I stopped it in plus six because I and I'm using this rune for a long ass time now. I almost never remember that I have this rune and I need to change it. But in rune removal day this month I'm gonna fix it. So yeah. I'm gonna talk a little bit about the shop rooms. Why is that? Because if you can't farm, if you can't farm anything like giants or dragons, P10, you're gonna have a really hard time to get having good rooms. I mean, giants B8, if I not wrong, can drop some 5 and 6 star rooms, I think. So. It could be good, but you have to look at your shop and you gotta search for what you don't have. You have to like leave some mana for buying rooms, especially like slot 6 rooms, because slot 6 rooms difficult to get, especially violent and maybe swift. Yeah, I, I have a uh, Hard time to get swift rooms on slot 6 and when I finally drop them on giants, even now that I can farm like giants and dragons to be 10, I always buy it and it never shows up like violent especially. Y you can see slot 1, 3 and 5 always gonna drop a lot of rooms. If you're farming giants, look at this, my energy runes. Now you can ask yourself, why is there a white rune right here? Because I I've seen that I can't drop HP percent in energy, and I bought this rune from the shop. It was pretty cheap because it's energy. And I don't regret it because I'm gonna use in my Arnold that I have sitting on storage. Look at my storage. My storage is full of monsters that I don't have room to use and have food as well. But well, like I wanna build my Brian. I really wanna build my Brian, but I can't. I have a second Arnold, Arnold that I want to build both of them to make TOA, but I can't because I don't have runes. Alright? I need energy in the spare runes with HP. And I can't drop them, especially in slot 6. Slot 6 is worst. Look, slot 2, I even... Look, but look at the substats. It's shitty substats. But it's the only room that I have. And I need these monsters. So, it's what I, I'm saying. Another advice. If you have a room like this one. And they really are, are desperate to use a monster. You need this room like it's life or death. <laughs> 
You gonna upgrade this room in max like plus 12 if you have the mana for it. Because uh, starting for plus 12 until plus 15, you're gonna lose all your mana if you are doing this. And what's gonna happen? This is a shitty room. When you get something better, you're gonna sell this room. And that's it, it's the end of the room. <laughs> so you spend all that mana for nothing. You need to think about that. And if you don't have runes, that's what I'm, I'm advising you. Put in like in plus 12, because plus 12, it doesn't gonna spend that a lot of mana. It's gonna be a little fast to level it up. And they're gonna be pretty happy. You can see, most of my monsters are all plus 12. Because I know these runes are shitty, alright? Because I, I need them. Really need them. What can I do? Nothing. Because I need to farm. I can't sell these runes, alright? It's probably what you guys are, are going to right now if you're watching this video. And my Lucian, look at this room. My biggest mistake in life, alright? Never do this. It's a horrible room. Is plus 15 has accuracy on it plus 16 bad bad room another terrible mistake look at this HP Lucian was one of my first like good monsters that I got and I put all that I have on him on the time and look this one no all right look at this look at this horrible room Luckily now we have the, the grindstones so, and I can change this attack percent or critical damage. I have another rune that's pretty bad and I wish I could let me just find it here. Another fucking horrible mistake. Look at this rune. I think it was a green rune. Never put, it should never ever put more than plus 12 in a white, green, some of the <laughs> blue runes maybe, but not so good, you're gonna spend a lot of mana for nothing, because look at the substats, it has nothing, it's the same thing if you don't have any substats, it's horrible, and I put plus 13, to what, to garbage, because when I finally get, maybe I already have, Look, this room is better than this one. Alright? This one is pretty, so much better than this one. Look at this. Let me see, let me see. This one. This one is bad too because landed on attack and resistance. So, yeah. And this one. This one can be better than this one. Why? Look, I'm gonna power it up. And luck is gonna land in attack percent. It's already gonna have more attack percent than this level 13 room that I was just talking about. So look at this. Even if you land on... Look. Right? Look! It has already more attack percent and fucking more speed. The speed is life, alright? The faster your team are, the, fa the better it's gonna be. And look, it's already better than this fucking level 13 room garbage. Luckily, room removal day is next other day, so I'm gonna change it at all, and I'm gonna get my shit together. I just need mana, so I'm gonna sell a lot of rooms. Have a lot of shitty rooms I need to sell. Let me see another thing. I don't. I don't think I. I've saved it. I don't. I don't save it. All right. This one is a good one. If land on attack percent, another thing. It doesn't matter if a rune is legend. If only have flat substats, it's gonna be bad. All right. This one need lucky. Let Let's see. I'm gonna do this on the video. If doesn't land attack percent. It's already gonna be so bad. And rage runes is so difficult to get. So 
let yes all right but has to land on attack percent until you know at least one more time and it's, it's hard to get something like that to happen I think I'm gonna look at this plus 14 garbage oh, look at the HP landed on HP and the 2 HP HP flat and percent garbage this one yeah, I think that's it for today, guys. I hope this video have, like, helped a little bit. And Happy New Year, guys. See you in the next video. A lot of fun this year and success and everything else. Alright. Bye-bye.